Hi everybody, it's Adia from Dale Skidmore Second Hand Tyres. Welcome to part 18 of the boat restoration. I've uh, had a bit of problem with me back with planing everything up, especially that keel, it's three metres long, uh, by hand. It took the toll, its toll on my lower back and it's been very stiff for the last week or so and with that in mind and the fact that uh, there is some heavy planing to be done on these bits of wood I went out as you saw earlier and bought this electric planer I did have one in the workshop for a long time and I used it from time to time but I didn't really like it it was very sort of crude and choppy and uh, it didn't really uh, there was a lot more work involved in some cases to get things back flat compared to what they would have been if I'd have just planed for a couple of three hours longer so um, I, I never really used it and I thought I'd get it out because Dusty Pilgrim reminded me about the brutal machine uh, in the, the, his comment in the last um, episode and I found that the belt and the spare belt for it, it perished and I couldn't find any uh, anywhere uh, that was easy to get hold of so I bit the bullet and went and bought a new one. The old machine was pretty corroded anyway because it had been in the workshop for some years and um, so uh, I've used it on the build runners and I still need to use the hand plane to finish up with the jack plane. So I've used it to uh, take the wood down to near where it needs to go and then use the jack plane to finish it, get it nice and flat and square. But um, I've got a bit here which is going to take a lot of planing so uh, I think I might take that down with the saw first or um, the jigsaw, probably the jigsaw, take off most of that. Then we'll be ready to drill the holes and then steam them in the bag and fit them to the contour of the uh, base of the bilge runner on the hull. I've been given some thought to how I'm going to steam and fit the runners to the uh, bottom of the boat and to that end I've just roughly sprung it into place to test how it lays on the moulded part of the hull and it's nice and centralised so the other one's going to be the same and uh, I think what I'm going to do is mark out and drill some of the holes for the screws and then steam the plank and put it on and then spring it again. But first of all I've got to do something so that I can get this sprung right to the end and that will probably mean putting a beam through under the joist. And I don't think I've got anything long enough at the moment to do that with. Yes I have. Well I've screwed with a 4 by 2 to the rafters and I've uh, wedged the bilge runner back down onto the bed. It's still not quite going down at the ends but obviously uh, that should ease into place when it's steamed and I've marked up places to screw the uh, runner in place and I've got the pillar drill set up and I've done a test drill with a quarter inch drill rather than a six mil drill because a quarter inch is just slightly smaller. The um, I don't know what you'd call it. The special drill I bought for doing the recess into the wood so it can be covered over with a plug. Maybe you'd call it the plug hole cutter because it cuts the hole in the in the piece of wood and then you fill it with a, a plug cut with this part 
that the fit of the uh, screw, set screw, machine screw, is better with a quarter inch drill than it is with six mil drill. You know these are M6. It's funny that, but um, I should have to maybe measure with a caliper of the uh, drill diameter and this diameter because um, there's about half a mil gap or over a quarter of a mil each side when I use the six mil drill bit. So I'm going to stick with the quarter inch because that goes in very quite nicely. So I've drilled all the holes and the plug hole along the bilge runner and I've mounted it back onto the boat with the sprags and then drilled through. I can't quite get the end ones because of the timbers in the way but I think once it's bolted into place after it's been steamed and then left to cool off it should more or less stay where it is so I can drill those last and then bolt it together. Before I actually finally fit it I'm going to put down a bead of the uh, filler Sikaflex around the uh, outside edge so that it'll all bed in and then probably run some through around each side of the screw holes and then once I've got the boat turned back over I shall cover the nuts and washers inside with some more of that fiberglass tape. Well this plug cutter and drill bit set have proved to be quite effective. I wasn't sure about the quality of them because it was only the cheapest set. It was $9.99 from Screwfix but it's nice and sharp. It cuts the holes nice and clean and the plugs are nice and clean cut as well. What I did was I did the 6mm or quarter inch holes through and through the runner and then used the, the taper of the um, plug hole cutter to uh, centre it up so that the head of the screw would go in rather than use the drill bit end on the hole cutter and then enlarge it to 6mm I did it the other way around and it seems to have worked really well and uh, I'm quite impressed by it I was I think there was a set in there that was up as high as about 30 quid and I don't think it had much more maybe it had another size a bigger size uh, cutter set I don't know but uh, I can't remember now but this has worked really well and it's just what I need so I'm pleased with that runner's been steaming now for an hour and a half roughly so uh, it's time to fit it onto the boat
Right, I'm going to get under the boat and put some nuts and washers on to uh, help support it. I fitted all the screws through the build runners and bolted them up from the inside with the penny washers. And I'm just leaving these sprags on for now because it's still a little bit warm and it could do with drying out a bit more. So just take the strain off and help it to settle in. I'm going to leave it clamped up like it is now. Time being. You can see the curve on the build runners. That's why they needed steaming because there's a little bit of a twist as well as a bend or curve through the uh, length of it from fore to aft. It's gone quite well, I'm pleased with it. I was wondering whether I wouldn't have to get someone in to help with putting the nuts and that through, but uh, it, uh, it went well enough on doing it on my own. Well, I've got the boat turned round, pointing the other way so I can work on the uh, build runner on this side. Obviously that's just a repeat of what's done on the other side. And I've got to mark out and cut the ends so they conform to the, the radius of the uh, ends of the moulded part of the hull. And then, next job is to do the keel, fit the keel. I'm in two minds about that, as with everything else. I don't know whether to run straight through the stainless strip that runs up the middle and bolt it all the way through and through, or whether to bolt this independently most of the way and then screw the stainless steel strip. I'm not sure at the moment, but by the time I've done this side of the build, that will uh, be decided I think um, so really it remains to me to say cheers everyone thanks for watching thanks for your comments and your support uh, it's really nice to uh, to know that I've got some people interested in what I'm doing when I'm up here at the uh, bottom of the garden miles away from anyone else really and uh, working on the dream I'll uh, See you all later. Cheerio.